Hey, what's going on everyone? Happy New Year. Hope you're having a great one. Subtle Art Soap Co. Pipe Den. Yes, that's the exact same one that we used from the last shave. Um, and as I stated in that last shave, that's the actual tub there. As I stated in the last shave, um, I'm going to start using full tubs prior to moving on to the next. So I won't record all of the shaves, but it being New Year, I figured I would go ahead and record one. It, it being the New Year. So, um, the brush, this, that's the load here. The brush is the Razor Company, um, made by AKA Brushworks. This is the cream soda handle, very, very nice. I did load a, dip, a bit different this time. So it's drier brush and I bloom the puck. Seems like a bit marshmallowy paste type of, uh, so we're gonna have to add a lot of water here. But, more so than the actual soap, like, all right, so let's just go through the soap real quick. Subtle Art Soap Co. has a whole bunch of variety of, uh, of different scents. So, you know, if you have not tried them out, I would highly suggest doing so. Uh, wonderful base, lacks nothing for me. And uh, yeah. So, hope everyone had a great New Year night. Hope we're all safe and didn't get too crazy last night. We we had a uh, we had a London New Year, so I'll kind of tell you what what we did. Um, I'm just dipping the tips, trying to build this lather up a bit. I don't really like this. I like the I like doing my other method of not blooming, but going in with a super wet brush as opposed to having to spend a little, little while building the lather. Um, Nothing wrong with the, that's not, a, that's just how I load it this time, but there's nothing wrong with the base or anything, that's just, but, <clears throat> yeah, so last night we, uh, my uh, mother, father, and, uh, sister, brother-in-law, their kids, and obviously our kids were here, and, uh, had some fireworks, shot those around between seven and eight, something like that. No, I'm sorry, between 6 and 7. Um, uh, at, at Was it 6 o'clock? I want to say it was 6 o'clock. Yeah, we shot fireworks after 6 o'clock. So between 6 and 7, we shot the, the fireworks for the, the kids. Um, TRC's aluminum. This is the V1 or version 1 of. <clears throat> so we watched. Uh, we had like a London New Year, essentially, because they're 6 hours ahead. So 6, six central time here was... 12 there, so we watched. They don't have the ball dropping like New York. They have um, the, the carousel, I think is what it's called, the carousel. And uh, yeah, so we kind of watched that. Now, I think in future years, because we're not keeping, we're not keeping a four-year-old, uh, we're not keeping a four-year-old up next year. <laughs> um, maybe once he gets six or seven or so, but Essentially, what, what I think we're going to do from now on is um, probably look at the recording from the previous year, you know, probably around 7, 8 p.m., you know, if we do it here and, and just act like it's, you know, going on at that moment because, you know, the kids won't know, so. I hear the baby crying now. wasn't too chilly last night. Uh, I want to say it was in the mid 50s. So um, when we shot fireworks, it did get down to to the uh, low 40s last night overnight. But uh, while we we're outside, it was only mid 50s. So not too bad. It was actually nice. <clears throat> I live, um, well, we, we live out uh, kind of in the sticks. Uh, we're not in city limits. And so, last night, well, for the 4th, for New Year, for even for Christmas, um, the fireworks people shoot out here are, are a bit uh, loud. <laughs> it's not the standard things, because you don't have houses stacked up on each other, so you can kind of get away with um, 
rinsing out the sink real quick, you can kind of get away with shooting things that you typically, like for, for instance, when we lived in Miami, um, there was no way, I think it was illegal. They didn't even sell fireworks in Miami. You had to go to uh, Key Largo or <clears throat> the Keys or up north to get fireworks. Um, because they just didn't, the, the houses are so compact there. I mean, you have houses on top of each other. Nobody has any land over there. <clears throat> well, the vast majority of people don't have any land in Miami. Because everything's just so clumped. Um, I mean, like, I, I'm almost on an acre here uh, in Miami. You're lucky to have, you know, an eighth of an acre, in all honesty. So... But yeah, so fireworks around here are a bit crazy. They, uh, you know. They were popping until, I think the last one I was, I was up. They were popping until about 12.30, 12.45. After like 12.20 of just like non-stop. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, okay, like that's enough. <laughs> but like you know I, I remember being a kid at that time uh, or this time of the year you know being 12, 13, 14 years old and having fireworks and doing the exact same thing Because, you know, we're, we're not really worried about the, at that age, you're not really worried about babies sleeping or, you know, anything, anything other than you having fun in that moment. And I think that's, I think that's great because, you know, as you get older, obviously that changes severely. So you definitely want to have that time when you're a kid, even if it <clears throat> inconvenience, not hurts, but inconveniences others. Um, I think it's still, you know. Necessary as a kid. Then when you get older, <laughs> you know, kids do that to you. Uh, a little bit of Nightwatch Soap Company news really quick as we finish up here. Uh, we will be in Pastor's, Pastor's Pharmacy in New York. Um... So, we've got to get the shipment out this week. This is New Year's. This is the first as I'm recording this. It's the morning of the first. Uh, not too early, like 9 a.m. And uh, uh, they placed an order uh, earlier in December. Um, and so, we're, we've fulfilled the order. We've just got to get it shipped. So... We will be at the store soon. Uh, you'll also be able to uh, buy us online. Well, obviously you can buy us online from the stores, but we'll be in store as well. So a great opportunity for us. We really appreciate that from, from those guys over there. Um, give me one second, let me rinse off. All right, face is feeling phenomenal after that shave. Oh man, great New Year's Day shave. All right, yeah, so we'll be at Pastor. We'll be at Pastor's, uh, Pastor's soon. Uh, um, definitely first half of January. Um, let's see, what else? We, we, I need to reach out to some other um, vendors as well, retail, um, either in store or just online, and see if they want to also uh, host our products. And um, I've had several. Um, Inquiries from companies um, overseas and from, um, uh, uh, I guess, we would technically be customers overseas asking if we can get our products over there. And the problem with that is the soaps for sure, our balm will not have any alcohol. So, yes, that will uh, be available there as well. The problem is Splash and um, our, our current Splash uh, utilizes alcohol. You can't ship alcohol overseas. Um, so... With that being said, um, 
I don't know that I want to have two different uh, two different bases for my splash. I really I really don't. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to see if the demand is enough over there, and, and we have a couple of vendors that'll take us on. It may warrant an alcoholless splash change to our entire line, uh, but if not. I suppose I would have to just, I don't know, I'm not not really thrilled about changing the base because I would have to, I would have to essentially come up with a new base because I think if ta I take out alcohol from the current one, it would change properties too much and um, so I would have to do some iteration other than alcohol change. So anyway, for you overseas guys, um, um, it's in the works, uh, but at the moment... That's, that's where it's at. It's in the works. So, all right. Well, that's going to be the shave. I appreciate you guys stopping by as always. Uh, happy new year. Hope you and your family are doing very well. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.